Here's an interesting thing I learned about recently, hyperparasites. So regular parasites are a living organism that makes its own living by mooching off of the resources of another living organism. Like children. That was a joke. Common parasites include um, fungi, worms, insects, a bunch of, a bunch of things. You've heard, I'm sure you can think of at least one type of parasite. They're overall rather common, and they're overall not a great thing to have. Now, hyperparasites are even more interesting. However interesting regular parasites are, hyperparasites are very cool. So a hyperparasite is a organism that parasitizes a parasite. So there's like three levels to this. There's the base host organism, there's the parasite, and then there's the hyperparasite, which parasitizes the other parasite. This is the small white butterfly. It's a very, very common type of butterfly. You see it around very often in the spring. Now, it is not a parasite. It just goes, it lives its life, it does its own thing. However, its larvae are very, very commonly parasitized by a type of wasp. Now, this type of wasp will come, it will find the larva of the small white butterfly, lay its eggs on the caterpillar, it does its own thing. I've made a couple different videos about parasitoid wasps before. If you want more detail, go check that out. But basically, this wasp lays its eggs, which hatch into larva, inside of the caterpillar. Now that is the first level of parasitism. This wasp lays its eggs in the larva of the butterfly, and the wasp larva parasitizes the caterpillar larva. However, we have a second layer of parasitism. This is a different species of parasitoid wasp. It lays its eggs in the larva of the first parasitoid wasp. So this wasp and its larva would be classified as a hyperparasite. So this wasp lays its eggs in the larva of this wasp, which lays its eggs in the larva of this butterfly. So there are three different levels here, and kind of the only one that benefits is that last wasp. So I just think that this is very interesting because parasites as a whole are absolutely fascinating. So hyperparasites just add another level of cool to this.